Persona 3 can be an odd game. Hey guys, welcome back to Devon Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're up for a brand new video. So I'll be showing you guys how to run Persona 3 Reload on a low-end PC. Um, yeah, we're just going to test this out today and see how it performs real quick. Already you can see I'm getting a much higher frame rate. It's not going to be a long video. I'm just going to go into Tardivus real quick. As you can see, if you watched my Intel USC 630 video on the game, I didn't use the config file. So you can already see that there is a massive difference in frame rate right now. And by that I mean about 9 to 10 FPS. Pretty much it. That's pretty much all you're going to get. This is using Unreal Engine 4, but it feels, I think it's modified. It's not the exact same. Things don't work the exact same. So yeah, I, if you guys want once again, as you can see, textures are really flat now. I've made everything look a little worse for wear, just so the game can run. If you guys really want this, uh, just message and I will leave the link in the description. It's just that effort, man. I don't know if anyone wants this. But if you guys really do want to play Persona 3 Reload on PC, or you have something lower end, which I don't know what is much more lower end than a 620 at this point because you need DirectX 12. So that'd be interesting. But if you want this, Leave a comment and I'll put the link in the description for the config file. Now as you can see with my config, we are getting about 50 FPS. Whereas before, we were hovering in the 40s, the thir hitting the 30s. A lot of the thing textures look really flat as I said now. We've disabled a lot of uh, stuff and yeah, I'm going to go to the game now and actually show you guys the, the file and how I did this, where to do this. I just want you guys to see combat real quick. So as you notice with the UI just now, I didn't drop below 30 FPS even with the UI. I, I actually swung a bit too fast but with that UI, when the UI comes up for you to use your persona, it drops below 30 FPS. It does not here. You will get a more 60 FPS experience which look at that. Holy crap. He looks terrible. Don't he? He looks terrible bro. Regardless. We're going to go to that because, like I said, I want to show you guys how I actually achieved this. <laughs> going to need you to close the game, big boy. Going to need you to cl close the... Forget it. Anyway, so we're going to do this again. Local DC, users, whatever your name is here, app data, local. And you're going to scroll all the way down to Persona 3, reload, save it, config, win GDK, which is why I'm saying it's a bit different than normal. Where you have the scalability files as well, which makes the textures and whatnot flat, but I don't think you really necessarily need these. The engine files you definitely do need, which are these here, which I normally put in the videos for everything. Like, you, if you go and check a low-end config video, like even for Pal World, you'll find the same config. You can just use this. And this basically disables everything to make everything run exactly like how you saw just now. But that's it. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.